damaged residential and commercial buildings. Civilians sheltering in their homes with dwindling food supplies and the lack of running water, the past struggle between Sudan's top generals continues to cause devastation. Kenya's president denounced Wednesday a systematic pattern of atrocities. We are also deeply concerned that members of the diplomatic community have been targeted and civilians in general have been caught in the crossfire, a pattern of systematic violation of established norms and principles of international humanitarian law is clearly emerging and this situation is evolving into a threat to regional and international peace and security. The army and the rapid support forces said they would commit to 24-hour ceasefire on Wednesday. However, fighting continued in Khartoum. President Ruto urged to silence the guns in the region. There is real danger that the escalation of hostilities in Sudan could implicate external, regional and international actors and degenerate into a security and humanitarian crisis on a disastrous scale. It is time to silence the guns in our region and continent so that we can focus on the urgent work of enabling our people to pursue opportunities and actualize their aspirations in peace and tranquility. In peace efforts, the UN chief is set to meet Thursday with the heads of the African Union, the Arab League and regional bloc, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development.